Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now you might be wondering, whoa, this is weird. Why aren't you in the game? Uh, well, this is actually because um, the, the coming video, it took a lot of work and I just want to explain a little bit because it can get a little bit confusing, uh, at least for the first like 10 minutes of it. Um, and it's because uh, it's a huge trick that we do. It's a huge, you know, kind of way that we get around getting the Shiga Slate and all that. Um, and so if you, don't want the the run started the entire playthrough started where i was like uh, you know what we're not gonna get any runes at all in breath of the wild it's not gonna happen uh and we're just gonna play the game normally after that um uh, like we're just gonna skip over not use the runes and the shrines and all that um and it started out like that but then i had uh two people come in the chat uh legend of link and orchestra and they're like hey you actually know you can just skip getting the shiga slate like all together and I was like, what? Like, what? Are you kidding? Um, and so the run evolved over the course of the streams, um, being from starting with no runes to actually just not even getting the Shiga Slate, which is a bigger deal than I feel like a lot of you guys know, because not getting the Shiga Slate means that you don't have access to quick menus. You don't have access to runes. You can't open your menus at all. Uh, and you also can't get shrines. You can't fast travel. There's a whole bunch of things that the game actually relies on with the Sheikah Slate. So it started with no runes and evolved into that. And so for the first like 10 to 13 minutes, I think I'll, I'll have a timestamp like right here-ish of uh, where the run starts. And because I, I start, you know, I figure things out and the a whole thing. Um, but essentially the way it works is that we start with a, um, we start with two save files. One which is the old save file, one which is the new save file. And essentially what we're doing is we're doing a glitch that allows the new save file, which is the new game, um, to reference a position in an old save file. Uh, we basically then warp in the new save file to old save file locations, uh, get those spirit orbs there without actually getting the spirit orbs that you're supposed to get you know, uh, in the Great Plateau, so we don't get Magnesis, Bomb, uh, Stasis, or Cryonis. Um, we just warp to different places, complete those different other shrines, and the game, none the wiser, none the wiser is like, you, you've gotten four spirit orbs. You, you don't need to get any more. Um, here's the Parrot Glider. Uh, so that's how we actually get around it, and it's a really, really cool stuff, um, and I, I hope you guys, hope you guys enjoy. I, I, the, sorry if that's like a really long explanation, but um, it's needed to be said, so, um, this, this was a really fun run. This was one of my favorite ones. So get ready. All right, so I bet you guys are wondering, like, hey, what the hell? What the hell, Eric? Why, why are we, like, not, why are we on a different account? Like, why are we not on, um, why, why are we not on a new account? Because this is how we start the run. We have to get the moon, we have to get moon jumping. To do this right because we what we're going to do is we're going to beat the entirety of breath of the wild uh without using any r runes um it's besides the great plateau it's a really regular run but uh i'm excited give me the shiga slate as well um we could actually no can we can we skip the shiga slate is that possible because i know you have to have the shiga slate to clip out of the shrine of resurrection yeah, I don't think you can. Yeah, there's no clip that you... Because to, to get out of the Shrine of Resurrection, you have to clip with the uh, zoom function. Right? That you can ROM work from a save at the start of the game. Oh, 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 with moon jumping. Right, right, yeah. Yeah, the apparatus glitch. Uh, I, I just haven't tried it yet, so um, we're not going to do that yet. But, because uh, I, I want to start a new game. We're not going to, like... We're going to get the, the Sheikah Slate, but we're not going to get the uh, um, the runes. You can't finish the Great Plateau without getting the runes. You like You have to get the runes. If you wrong warp to four shrines off the Great Plateau, you can simply skip attaining the runes. You're right. Wait, I didn't I didn't think about that yet. Oh my god, wait, I didn't think about that. Uh, I like that. I like, you know what, you know what, guys? That is, I had a plan for this stream. I had a plan for this stream, and now we're doing a different thing, all right? So get ready for some learning on the cuff, all right, on the fly. I'm going to need your help, guys. I'm going to definitely need your help, right, on how to war wrong warp. Then go to the archery mini game to get the moon jump. Now load the save in the shrine that you wanted to wrong warp into. Warp to your travel medallion. Now you can go to another save file that's not in the shrine. Save, then load the save you just made. And you should be warped in the shrine you set up. Okay, that'll make more sense when I start doing it. I see the wind, I go in the hole. 
Oh! Wow! Get the chest in the middle, right? <laughs> All right. Travel medallion! Awesome. Now go away. What? Can I touch that, though? I want to touch it. I want to touch the chest. All right. Oh, that's... That's useless. Can't believe it, guys. Can't believe it. Holy shit. Oh, God. Give me the extra inch, chat. I need it. <laughs> we survived. I don't even want your F. Just showing him now. Hope the run's going well. It's going pretty decent, um, Procyanid. We have not started yet. <laughs> it has been an hour and 12 minutes, and we have not started stream yet, technically. So, um, we're just doing a bunch of prep. So, what we're doing, really quick, what we're doing is we are getting a bunch of shrines in this other account, in this other save file. So, then what we're going to do is that we're going to start a new save file, and then we're going to wrong warp into a different place, right? We're going to wrong warp into the shrines from this new save from this old save file so there's save file old save file new so save file old we're getting four shrines that we don't need runes for we're going to start a save file new and then what we're going to do in the save file new is we're going to wrong warp into save file old get four shrines then we can go talk to the old man and the old man will recognize that as oh hey you got four spirit orbs that's great that's wonderful here's your paraglider so we can go throughout the entire game without getting any runes or the Sheikah Slate in general. So now we're going to go over and get the, um, go to the Mounted Archer Camp, I'm pretty sure. And put our Travel Medallion down there. All right, so what we do here is I think we place a Travel Medallion down here. First, right. You save the shrine you want to war wrong. So I left it there. So I want to now go to a shrine that I want to wrong warp into. Okay. And now what I want to do is I want to return to the title screen. Okay, this is how we start. So what we're doing right now is we're going to start the run officially now. So now we're going to start a plain master mode, right? We're going to do this in master mode, by the way. Because <laughs> I always get that comment after every single challenge. Mode. It's like, oh, now do it in master mode. Well, guess what? We're doing it in master mode, so you can suck it. All right, so let's start a new game. So now what we do, if I can get this right, right, is what we do is we now... Load our si No. Wait. We go back to the title screen. Just kidding. We go back to the title screen, just as planned. <laughs> Shit, this isn't going well so far. You didn't do the moon jumping? Oh, I have to do moon jumping first. Oh, wait, just kidding. All right. <laughs> just kidding, guys. All right, so what we're doing here is we're getting the moon jump. We're getting moon jumping. So moon jumping essentially is where we, uh, well... We do this. So you have to go to the Mounted Archery Camp really quick. And after you get to the Mounted Archery Camp, you completely ignore the entire minigame. 100%. And you want to go to the top of the mountain, and you want to wait till 10 seconds left. Alright, here we go. Yes! First try! First try! Let's go! <laughs> that never happens! So this is what happens when you do this, right? Um, Link just kind of backs it up, you know, back it up, back it up. He's sliding. So now I want to load the shrine save. Now load the shrine, uh, load the save in the shrine and the warp to the travel medallion. Okay. You can go to another save file that's not in the shrine, then save and load just made and you should be warped to the shrine setup. Okay. Now that we're here, we now want to warp to the travel medallion. So that's over here. Now we're warped back to the travel medallion. Now you can go to another save file that's not in the shrine and save and load this. All right. Wait. This will go through save files, right? So it does go through save files? Okay. So I'll return to the title screen really quick. Now what we do is we... Let me... I'm opening up this again. Now we go back to play in master mode. Because the moon jump actually transfers between save files. So now we continue our shrine of resurrection. Eight minutes and we're still in the shrine of resurrection. Yes. <laughs> now save the game and load it. Okay. And then we load. And something should happen here. <laughs> Run. 
Ron warp complete. Oh, what? Uh. Uh, wait. I didn't know I wasn't supposed to jump. Wait, I wasn't supposed to jump. What? What? Uh, uh, save the game? All right. <laughs> and then warp again. Wait, so then I, I just, I just load again, right? Oh, 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 okay, okay. All right, remove moon jump and then complete the shrine. All right, so the way I can do is I can remove it by just exiting the game, right? Like, I just, I can just straight up exit the game and then load the save. That should work. Okay, now, there we go. There we go. We don't, we don't have the Sheikah Slate, guys. You ever see this? You ever see this? We have not picked up anything. And we, I'm pressing minus right now to open the map. It can't, I can't open the map. It doesn't work. Somebody note, when you void out of the shrine, don't walk towards the shrine of resurrection. What? When you void after the shrine, don't walk towards the shrine of resurrection. Okay, the game will start the slate touching. Okay. Um, whenever I watch like Chugger Conroy and stuff, like what, what would happen was like they would change their mic and it'd be like a whole new. What? What do I do? What do I do? Like, if you look in the bottom corner, it's loading. It's it's loading. Wait, you will see. Wait, do I just keep it loading? What? <laughs> and that is how you get out of the Shrine of Resurrection <laughs> without getting <laughs> the Sheikah Slate. So now what I want to do is now we're going to do it all over again. The, let's do the Blessing. Let's do the Blessing. Why not? Oh, I have to get uh, Moon Jump all the time? Oh, God. And then go to the Archery minigame, and then... Oh, my God. I have to do this all... Oh, I have to do this so many first tries. Do you have to do this four times total? Yes. And I want to get it first try every time. I got some bits riding on this. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Awesome. We got it. Second try. Second try. Well, first try, second time. There you go. We should teleport back to the shrine. No, okay, we're here now, and then I, I save here, right? Wait, do I still have the, do I still have, um, shit! I don't know if that, I don't know if that happened, guys. So I now, so I continue again, and I actually got rid of the, the moon jump, so that's fine. I just can't, yeah, I can't. I can't walk. So that what happened right there? What happened right there is that we walked towards the shrine of resurrection. There you go. We walked towards the shrine of resurrection, <laughs> which made it do that. So look, guys, we're back in the shrine now. So now I think we're are we gonna void out and die again? <laughs> is that how this is gonna work? <laughs> That's too fun. <laughs> Oh, I love it. If you, if you are subscribed to the channel, you never get ads, regardless, whatsoever. Can we do this one? Yes, we can do this one. Awesome. Can we get this horse? No! Ugh! Guys, the streak is gone. The streak is gone. Our ability to get moon jumping consistently is gone. All right, we're gonna get this horse. I like this horse. This horse likes me. Nice. There we go. That one's a good one. I like that one. That one's pretty good. <laughs> there we go, look. We're, we're now in a shrine that we were in before. <laughs> Isn't that great? So now now if you look, right, we, we now have the barbarian helm and the spirit orbs. All right, that's the third shrine really quick. <laughs> All right, and then I think We'll die, right? We're about to die, I'm pretty sure. Do you have a force shrine you can do? I think so. If not, we can get one really quick. And we died. All right, cool. We got to go back and go back to the, the um, uh, normal mode playthrough. All right, it's just a blessing. Perfect. Okay, so what we do here is we save, right? So we save in the shrine. This is where all this like weird stuff starts. We save in the shrine. And then what we do is we go back to our travel medallion. Can we get this horse? We can! Yes! Oh, I don't know if that worked. Alright, yeah, so we got Moon Jump. Perfect. 
All right, so we got Moon Jump, and now let's go back to that shrine that I got, which is over here. Okay. You need to do the whole game without looking towards the first room? Maybe. Oh, shit. I did mess it up. I did mess it up, guys. I messed it up! All right, we should be good. So we're going to avoid out and then come in. You caused this. Oh, my God. I didn't know this was going to be that intense. I know this stream was going to be like that. We just got, we just got the last, last spirit orb that we needed. And in, in three hours, it's finally done. We finally have four spirit orbs. Let's trick this old man, guys. Yeah, okay, look. So now we save. Really quick. And look at this. It's a normal save file again. Except now we have a flame blade, a barbarian helm, a, four spirit orbs, and we have never gotten... The Sheikah Slate. So let's just go over here. Damn it! Oh my god. Wait, go over to Magnesis. Why? It will trigger both old man cutscenes at the same time? Oh my god, yes! Alright, we'll do that. We'll do that. There we go. Awesome. So now let's go to Magnesis. Alright, so we're going to go to the Magnesis Shrine and then get the old man cutscene there. Because apparently it's really funny. Alright, so we're now at... Awesome. Whoa, we just teleported onto the shrine. All right, that's kind of weird. You managed to get your hands on a spirit orb. Okay, well, that's great. Uh, we actually have four spirit orbs. All right, it's all good. Wait, what Sheikah Slate on our hip? Wait, what Sheikah Slate on our hip, guys? All right, let's make it to the top of the tower. Are you joking? What tower? What tower? There's no tower. We didn't take out anything. What map? What? Oh. Well, what? Wait, no, you're still here. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> now, Kith, have we broken this game enough, guys? <laughs> you realize that you can't get Majora's Mask with the Phantom Armor in this run, right? What do you mean? I can. Why can't I? Oh, I can't! Magnesis! No! Guys, we can't use Majora's Mask. Oh my god, we actually have to play the game? The way it was supposed to be played? We gotta really plan this out. Because I, I want to go straight for Ganon, right? Like, I don't want to go to any of the Divine Beasts. Um, I, I like, I just don't, I don't plan on it. Like, that's not what I want to do. Um, what do I, what, what do I do now? Um, I know I didn't get the pot lid. I know, I know, I know. We're getting like a bunch of hardy rats. We should get a horse. We gotta get a horse, guys. Like really, like we, that is, that is priority numero uno. Uh, so what should I do? Should I, like, I don't know. Like I can, I plan, I'm planning on going straight for Ganon just to do it fast, right? But like, I'm, I'm curious, like, should I do all four divine beasts? You can't do all the four beasts. You can only do one, but I see you do meta. Yeah. Um, we could do meta. Yeah. Guys, we're going to get so lost. I need, I'm, oh my God. No, 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 no. Oh my god, I forgot they can see us. They can see us. No. Uh, I want to get the shrine near here. I want to get this shrine over here. And then after we get that shrine, then what I want to do, we want to get a lot of shrines, right? We want to get a lot of shrines. And we also want to get a lot of food. Because we can't teleport to a food source. This is stressful just a little bit. Maybe we we'll get the shrine. All right, no shrines. No shrines it is. <laughs> So I guess what we do now is we just like get OP weapons, get armor, go to Ganon. So we're gonna get Koroks just so we can get more weapons. Um, and then after we get the Koroks, we're just gonna get Koroks. We're just gonna gear up as much as possible. So if there's like some OP weapons nearby, we're gonna go get them. All right, so let's look at the towers. Yeah, so that tower just doesn't exist. Yeah, let's go over to the tower. Let's see what's up. Let's see what's up. Yeah, almost like the Breath of the Wild 2 trailer. Yeah, no, no towers. There's tower doesn't exist, guys. Tower just doesn't exist. If you're wondering, I am fumbling a little bit because I did not plan on. I did not plan on such a um challenge. I thought this was going to be a lot easier. Walking out of the way to the Farron region to get the durians. Oh, no, they skip it on purpose. 
Yeah, we're gonna walk on the fair to the fair and to get the durians, and then we're gonna walk all the way back to get the uh, hardy radishes by Satori Mountain. Is this game time not progressing? It is not. We are also permanently, permanently, um, on Great Plateau time. So when you're in the Shrine of Resurrection, you will always be at this time. So that also means no Blood Moon. Come on, 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 come on. yes! Please be a good horse. Oh, it's the best horse I could have wanted. It's the best horse I could have wanted. Did you want a fast horse? There's a horse group that has four speed around here. I just got a four speed. All right, press one, two, or three to vote in chat, and you'll see it uh, up here on the uh, on the screen. All right, we're registering our horse with zero. Oh wait, wait, guys, we can't. Wait, wait, we can't. I don't have enough rupees. I don't have. Let's sell our soul really quick. Wait, wait, we'll sell our soul really quick. It was nice knowing you. It was nice knowing you. We sold our pants for a bridal. We sold our pants for a bridal. All right, big ant it is. Yeah, so that's that's where we're going right now. So we're going to, we're going to Hestu. We're getting the Koroks. So we're going to get the ability to increase our inventory stash. Just a little bit, at least. So this one spot where you get tons of hardy radishes and big hardy radishes by the stable is super useful. Yes, we're actually going to go there after we get the hardy durians. <laughs> Da, 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 da. <laughs> uh, we also want some regular heart stuff, so we're going to be doing a lot of roadkill here. If you guys really like some some birds, I'm sorry, but they're not here for you. Can you overcome altitude cold damage without pants? Uh, I can't. Can't. Can't do it. Uh, we can beat this guardian, though. That's one. We need three of them. All right, come on. Oh, right, I forgot it heals. So we're going to have to do more than one perfect parry. <laughs> All right, this is just me flexing at this point. There we go. As long as you don't miss any parries, it still only takes three. Yeah, well, I mean, okay. I just got the leg block, so that kind of has missed. Oh my God, guys, we missed the Nintendo Switch shirt. Oh my God, we got guys, we got to go back. We can't, we can't beat Ganon without the Nintendo Switch shirt. That's just a flex at that point. Like, we got to get it. Uh, we gotta go around the this Hinox really quick so we can get some durians and then we'll get some more. Oh, I can't even like I can't even use the stasis trick to see if there's any durians on trees. So what I would normally do is I would start activating stasis so I can see the durians on the trees because they would highlight, but I can't do that because I don't have stasis. Um, so right now what we're doing is we're heading back to Kakariko. Is there anything that we need to grab? You think in uh Farin? Rubber armor. I can get rubber armor. I think I think I'm missing. There's a shrine over there and a stable, but I want to go over here to get the rubber armor. I'm kind of lost. It's fine. I can't like I can open up a map. I can do this right, so I can I can open up a third party map and we can like kind of see there where to go. Like for example, we're probably right around this area, right? And I kind of want to keep heading west along here to get to this um, place where we get the rubber armor. Oh wait, where's where's the girl? Oh, I think she only appears at certain times. All right, let's do noon. Will this actually work? This is this is wondering if we can change. Nope, it's still 5:15 a.m., guys, and that means we can't get the rubber helm. Could you, in theory, beat Breath of the Wild with only the Master Sword? Yes, yes, you could. You can beat Breath of the Wild with only the Master Sword, which I is planned. That is very much planned. Only Master Sword, is that just weaponless until you get 13 hearts? Yeah, it is. It's weaponless until you get 13 hearts, and then you get the Master Sword. And then whenever you break it, you have to wait 10 minutes. Um, so that's fun. <laughs> okay, so now we're here, and now what we want to do is we want to go talk to Impa after 3 hours and 45 minutes of dicking around. Jesus. Uh, when's the bookcase only run? Uh, I mean, we did bookcases with uh, uh, Sidon and all that. That was a lot of fun. That was really cool. Uh, you can't beat, you can't, like, if you bring a bookcase into the, the Hyrule Sanctum, it despawns, and I think it doesn't even do damage to the Blights. Is that Sheikah Slate? No. No, it isn't. I gotta read the dialogue for stuff like that. That's really funny. I think Impa also notices our Sheikah Slate. I, I gotta ask, guys. I gotta ask. Um, should we get armor for this? We said no pants, but yes, hats and Switch shirt. We can, I don't have the Nintendo Switch shirt right now. I forgot to grab it. All right, so I guess we just do it raw. 
Just, just, just literally nothing besides the barbarian helm. I'm lost. I can't, I can't, there's, by the way, by the way, if you guys want to really know, there's no mini map. Like in the bottom, in the bottom right corner, there's no mini map, like at all. And then the controls you see at the bottom, those are the controls that you get at the very beginning of the game when it tells you how to use the Shiga Slate. So what's the plan to be Ganon? Uh, well, because we can't have any heart upgrades, what we have to do is we have to um, get as many yellow hearts as possible. So we're just collecting hearty radishes and hearty durians and stuff. Yeah, big hearty radishes. Just want all those big, big, juicy hearty radishes. <laughs> I think that's all the durians here. And now we're going to go cook everything up, I think. So, all right. So we have 11 durians. What? I thought we had more before. No, we already cooked them up. We already cooked them up. Right, they're over here. Okay. So now we have 11 durians. Um, and we have six hardy radishes and three big hardy ones. I know there's some more hardy truffles over there too. I want to go up and get some more durians on our way to Hateno. Once we're all the way to Hateno, what I think we're going to do is we're going to, uh, see if we can get the uh, camera just for the hell of it. And then I think we're going to Ganon. I think we're going to Hyrule. I don't know. I want to say we're going to Hyrule Castle, but we're not. Um, where are some really easy places to get really good items? You got some pretty good gear in the castle. It's true. But there's also, like, we're on master mode right now. So we're going to see some gold level enemies, I think, in the castle. Um, if not, then everything's silver, basically. So um, we can't kill anything. We have to really... We don't have Majora's Mask either, so. Coliseum? Uh, the Coliseum doesn't have good gear until you... Um, I mean, we could beat Lionel's. Um, I don't know if we have the killing power, though, for a lot of them. Because uh, currently we have that as our arsenal. <laughs> Still got bomb arrows. I... Do I have bomb arrows? I do not have any bomb arrows. We gotta get some more arrows. I think that's why we're also going to Hateno. So we can sell our souls and get some arrows. How many, uh, how much health does the blue line will have? 4,000, right? 4,000? You wanna try it? Uh, I don't think we can, but let's try it anyways. Why not? All right. So he has a spear. Uh, that's gonna be pretty decent. Let's see if we can do this. That's a lot of yellow hearts, exactly. I kind of want to save them for the Ganon fight, but I want to see if we can actually uh, do this pretty well, decently. Oopsies. There we go. And then I'm going to switch here, the Korok Sword, and then mount. Yeah, so that, that's what we're going to do with the Korok Sword. So we can keep doing multiple damage. And then, and then switch back to a different, different sword, just in case. Oh, I forgot he heals too. It's Master Mode, he heals. Like, much appreciated if he didn't do that. And then now we're going to use our Flame Blade, because why not? We don't have any other weapons. He's almost dead. He's so close to being dead. Oh, we're... Oh. All right. Well, we didn't... We took damage, guys. But the Lionel is now... Dead. Awesome. Awesome. All right. We killed the Lionel with only taking damage once. Also, fun fact. Uh, we can go into this uh, shrine. We can go into this shrine. Isn't that cool? Wait, just kidding. We can't go into the shrine, but this shrine is activated. All right, let's go over here. Let's buy some. Let's buy some stuff, and then let's oh. sell our soul. So let's get some more. Um, let's sell our ancient parts. Uh, let's get some bomb arrows. Uh, let's actually buy all of the bomb arrows. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go now to. We can go to Ganon. Are you still getting the Highland Shield? Yes. Um, so what I'm probably going to do, and uh, what I'm probably going to do is go to Hyrule Castle, and then uh, we'll revisit this on Monday um, to finish the stream. Just because I know the stream is dying um, because of... <clears throat> Thanks, Internet. So um, so we'll go do that. Uh, we're just going to go to Hyrule Castle really quick. Um, maybe defeat this Guardian. Actually, you know, let's do that for, for shits and giggles. Let's do that. Why not? All right, well, that's funny. We parried the blast, but not actually the, the shot. That's funny. I, I know these parries too well from the shield only challenge. Like, it's 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 ridiculous. <clears throat> uh, 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 let's just pretend, um, let's just pretend that that didn't happen, and... Uh, I was I was doing it for RNG manipulation, really, because I, I wanted to reset the seed of the um, uh, of the guardian. So in order for its pattern to be different, 
And for us to actually succeed at Ganon, um, yeah, so so that's that all his plan. So now we're going to actually skip this. I know there's ancient arrows at the top of Hyrule Castle, so we want to get those as well. Oh, we're in big trouble here. Oh, that was delayed. Oh, that was perfect. I want to go through the center, too, because there's some stuff we want. Look at these expert dodges, too. All right, we can do something fun. Look, you can't see us. <laughs> yeah, so we're finishing uh, No Sheikah Slate. Um, we are we are finishing No Sheikah Slate, which means that uh, we don't have the Sheikah Slate. Just FYI, we don't have the Sheikah Slate. We don't have uh, runes. We don't have fast travel. We don't have the map. We also can't get shrines. Uh, what else? We can't do a whole lot of things. Expect Hyrule Castle to be extra awful. Um, because we can't just go by enemies, we have to defeat enemies, or just sneak around enemies. Alright, um, let's see. So what we have right here, just FYI, because we're going to finish the game right now. This will take a while, and maybe a couple tries. This is our weapons. These are our weapons. So we really gotta scour the entirety of Hyrule Castle for more weapons. Um, these are our bows and arrows. We have a lot of arrows. We're going to need more. Um, and shields. We definitely need more shields. Uh, we're getting the Hylian shield at least. Um, because we can do that. So, Alright, so I know there's a lot of really good loot here. Uh, for example, behind that bookshelf, way, way down in that corner. Like, way over there. We want to get that, bo that bow. I don't have Magnesis. How do I do this? Guys, I don't have Magnesis. I can't, I can't open the bookshelf. Bomb it? I can't, I don't have bombs or stasis. So we can't get anything guarded by Magnesis. Which is a lot of weapons here. Like, like when I say a lot of weapons, I mean literally every weapon that we wanted is, is basically guarded by, oh shit, shit, Magnesis. So I guess we just have to go through most of Hyrule Castle without using a lot of Magnesis and stuff. Which is going to be interesting. Um, not too sure how that's going to work out. But, I mean, like, let's go. Let's do it. Um, I think we want to go down there. I can't open up the map. So, I don't exactly know where I am in Hyrule Castle. So, that's a little bit of a new... What are you looking for? I'm looking for the Royal Guard Chambers. Um, although, I know that if we keep going along this... Um, this, um, this way, we'll, we'll get to them. Pretty easily. We're also just kind of going around Hyrule Castle. Um, just generally. So we're not exactly looking for one particular spot in the castle. Uh, what we're doing is kind of like going around the castle, seeing about uh, treasure chests and a bunch of things. Because I know there's a lot of ancient arrows sto uh, stowed around here that I haven't gotten before. So I'm just kind of looking for... We're just going to scour the entire castle because that's where we're going to pretty much gear up right now. Um, Alright, I want to get down here, but I don't think I can yet because I don't have uh, the internal stuff. So let's go over here. And then we'll uh, probably paraglide down to get to the inside. There's three? Oh my god. Oh my god, no. <laughs> Wait, no. Wait, this isn't... This isn't happening. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 no. This is my life now. This is just my life now, guys. It's just, it's like, this is... This is just how it's happening. I, I just... Well, fuck. Let's just hide behind these, uh... <laughs> let's just do this so he can't see us. You gotta really manipulate Guardian's, uh... Um, field of view. Walk through some malice. And then we'll, yeah, go up here. And we'll head over to, um... This... This tower right here. Like, right in front of us. Uh, because that's when we can get inside. I do. I did want to get in here, um, but we can't from this angle. So I'm thinking we just go around like this. I think. I think this is a valid way to do it. Um, I'm. Just, I'm just going to go down to the docks over here. Not the docks. The uh, the mines, and we will use bomb arrows here to get in. Awesome. All right. Uh, so we got some apples, some arrows. That's awesome. Um, and then let's go in here. This is the place where I was talking about. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is the prison uh, And we want to um, Bomb the cells over here Are we in the Highland Shield? Yes, we are. We are definitely getting the Highland Shield I 
Island shields here, right? Yes, it's right here. All right. Um, we do have the amount of items needed to kill this. So let's start with the spear. Damn, ripping out your own ribs to bash a tiny man. That's metal. Exactly. I mean, this Talonok is really, like, insane. Oh, shit, shit, shit. There we go. Yeah, that's, like, also the thing about Master Mode, right? Is that they keep, like, they keep healing up. Um, and it's like, oh, my God. It's, you, you can't ever do enough damage. Awesome. That was worth it. Uh, for, like, considering the, the weapons, definitely worth it. 100%. All right. Um, now we got the Highland Shield. So we don't need any shields ever uh, again. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Yeah. So perfect. We want to be exactly here. Awesome. All right. So uh, I know the uh, cafeteria is here soon. So we'll go there. Uh, and then the Royal Guard Chambers is also over here. So that's really nice to, to, to get. Um, we do need some more uh, bows, though. We, de we are in desperate need of more bows. You, <laughs> you underestimate the Master Torch. I want the Master Torch so badly. So, so badly. Um, dude has a long tongue. Dude has a long tongue. Uh, should we go straight? Should we go to Ganon right now? I think we do. I think we do. We might, we might just do that. I think the Lionel in the second gatehouse gives you a chest with three ancient arrows. That would be helpful. I think we have enough currently. I think we have enough. Um, this will be attempt number one. <laughs> Hopefully there's no attempt number two. <laughs> First and last attempt. Guys, it's always first attempt when I do it. It's always first attempt. Here we go. With, a, with our hot pink barbaric armor helm. Here we go. Wind blight. First cannon. First cannon fight. This might be the fastest challenge I've ever done. At 11 hours. Actually, it's going, this will probably take an hour. <laughs> or something like that. Excellent use of hardy radishes. We actually don't need hardy radishes until uh, claim to cannon. We don't need uh, anything like that. Uh, I stand corrected. We actually need uh, Hardy Rashes now. <laughs> what I didn't use before is I keep forgetting we actually have arrows because I never have arrows during this, these runs ever. I haven't I haven't used an arrow on the Blights fight in literally forever. So we're gonna do that. <laughs> he keeps regening health. That's that's a really big problem here. Critical and critical. One more and. He's not giving us good, uh, good patterns here. He's really not giving us good patterns. That's fine. All right, you should be dead next hit. Awesome. All right, water blood should be easy. Water blood should be very, very easy. Um, and we can use regular arrows for it. I'm going to switch to a bad weapon. Quote, unquote, bad weapon. Um, like the double axe for this. Yeah, the strats from shield only. Give me the extra inch strat. I need it. Good luck. You got this. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Sarah. Got this. Yep. Yep. Woo! All right, I think we can get this first try, guys. I genuinely think we can get this first try. Oh my god, we don't- we can't break these. <laughs> we have to hit them with arrows. We can't break them, we all have Cryonis. That's so funny. All right, and there's Water Blight. That's Water Blight. Now we got Fire Blight. Fire Blight um, is pretty easy with bomb arrows. Fireblight is ridiculously easy with bombs, actually. You just hit him twice, and he's good. Actually, we don't even need bomb arrows. We can just use regular arrows. Um, it's, it's actually, like, ridiculous how easy Fireblight is. You just hit him twice critically, and he's dead. All right, awesome. So that's that's how you get around the using a bomb for Fireblight phase two, by the way. Um, you just use a bomb arrow there, and you're good to go. Here we go. Fire, all right, Thunderblight, here we go. God! Oh, I'm sucking about this. I gotta focus. There we go. Finally. This is gonna be painful with this healing. I know. I mean, we do a lot of damage here, so that's really nice. So, we'll keep doing that. Stop! You know what this means, right? This means we just can't take damage. We take one hit. Dead. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> we got this, guys. We got this. All right, focus. We got focus here. Um, the less damage we take on Thunderblight, the more health we have for Clam to Ganon. So I'm healing really quick, and then we're using Highland Shield. Um, still Royal Halberd. All right, cool. I gotta, I gotta focus. Gotta focus on these. 
So I gotta get them, like, after... Like, I can't... Oh. Bro gamer time! I forgot my shock food. Alright, here we go. Wait, I wanna... Let's switch to, like, Claymore. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot better. I like that idea. There we go. Awesome. Here we go. Thunderblight phase two. Fingers crossed, guys. All right, well, that, I lost my boomerang. I lost the boomerang. Where'd it go, guys? Guys, where'd the... Oh, it's over there. Okay. Maximum focus. Come at me. Stop healing. Oh, my God. That did nothing now. All the damage we just did is just gone. Just gone. I can't take it. I can't. God damn. Guys, we might... I might have to... Honestly, like, I might... If we can't get this, if we die again, I think we're just gonna go get armor. All right, we're almost done with, uh, with Thunderblight. Yes! Yes! Oh my god, yes! Thunderblight! Why don't you have armor? Because you guys said no armor. And, and I was like, all right, cool. So we just didn't get armor. Yeah. Why don't you get the Master Sword? Uh, because, uh, Nixon, I can't get any of the shrines. Um, because I didn't get the Great Plateau Tower, so nothing's unlocked. So I can't, I can't do that. Cool, cool. It's going fast, which is nice. But it's also nerve-wracking. It's all hell. Oh, second phase. Second phase of Calamity Ganon. Here we go. No, no, no. No, no. No, no. Stop. Oh, my God. No. He's going to regen. He's going to regen, isn't he? Oh, we can do this. No, we can't do that. Okay. Well, I guess... Oh, I had the arrow. I had the bow up. That was stupid damage. That was such stupid damage. There's a few bow ores on the side there. <laughs> I wish. There's something over here, though. We have to go for it. Okay. Okay. All right. Sure. I think it's time to suit up. Um, yeah, it might be. If we get armor, we have to get meme armor. I think we get regular armor. We have to get regular armor. Give me the extra inch. Check. Rip hopping braze will be missed. Will be missed. I'm sorry, Sucrose. I'm sorry. It's not you. It's me. This wasn't meant to work out this way. Here we go. Here we go. Let's do it. You went, uh, ancient. We still have some ancient arrows, don't we? Yes, yes, we do. Oh, we missed this. We missed them. We missed them. Fingers crossed we can get it this time, guys. Stop healing! Stop! Nice, okay. And then ancient arrows time. We have nine of them. Eight of them. Stop, 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 stop. Awesome. I just want to make sure I get a critical on them. Because we only have so many. These do major damage. Oh, we missed. Cool. All right. And then we'll do some more regular, uh, some bomb arrows, maybe. Yeah. With the weak bow. Oh my God. I was using the weak bow. I was using the weak bow. <laughs> I got I got to wait between each shot too. So I can actually critical him because of the impact. Here we go. All right. First, first phase done. First phase. Let's go. I'm saying I'm real how much better he's doing with the Royal Guard armor. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, it's not like... It's, it's not because of the Royal Guard's armor. Like, we've only been hit a couple times. And it's not like... I, I guess I'm just more in the mode, you know? Unless we, do, like, parry some of his attacks. Like, I'll do, I'll do this. Why not? Good. Yes! Ha 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 Two. Three. Oh, I like that. I like times three. Times three is good. Badly damaged. Okay. Um, so now we spin the win with the Royal Climber exclusively. Cool. All right. I think we got like one more Flurry Rush in here, guys. We got one more Flurry Rush and we're here. Let's go. Here we go. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Here we go. Big Ant is back. Look, look at this. Oh my God, he's going. He's going to hit us. He's going to hit us. Oh, I actually might. Just kidding. All right, let's walk. Let's run away. I was like, wait. All right, here, here we go, guys. Here we go. You guys ready? You guys ready? This is it. All right, we're booping the snoot. We're doing it.
Let's go. Let's go. Now I get my run ending speech? Alright, well... <laughs> there you go, you beat Breath of the Wild. We beat Breath of the Wild without, uh... Without the Sheikah Slate. And without the runes. So you can just basically beat Breath of the Wild as a regular NPC. As Link. We, have we, like... Have we break in, broken this game far enough? Like, let's be honest. Really? <laughs>